Hi all, welcome to the series on Data Engineering and Cloud. This is a short introductory video on why GCP. As you all know, data engineering is the management of data repositories, uh, which is usually the SQL databases or it may be a NoSQL infrastructures. It is the movement of data between the different data sources, databases and application. In the current scenario, we are dealing with large complex data sets and processes. So this kind of work now lives in the cloud. So having the know-how of uh, AWS, Azure or GCP is essential for carving a career in data science. But most of you would be confused on which to choose AWS, Azure or GCP. This is actually a big topic of discussion and I don't want to get into the complex part and make our goal complicated by discussing on the market share, services, geographic locations, etc. So let me make it simple. Why GCP? AWS was launched in the year 2006 and Azure in 2010, whereas GCP was launched in the year 2011. If you are a fresh out of college or a newbie with no background in cloud computing, it is recommended to go for AWS. AWS has a easier user interface, which makes it attractive for the beginners. If you're applying for the companies that heavily uses the Microsoft services, then chances are you will have to learn Azure. You will also have better experience in studying AWS uh, or Azure as you can find many great tutorials on the internet on how to use its services. Because AWS is widely used cloud platform, you would quickly find online AWS communities and group um, that could answer your questions when encountering problems that you don't understand while doing the hands-on exercises. If you want an entry level position in the cloud related job, you, you would have a better chance if you choose to learn AWS since it was launched in the year 2006 and more job offering six expertise in AWS. In terms of demands in the job market, AWS and Azure have high upper hand, but high demand isn't always a good thing. If a particular skill is in demand, the odds or the competition will also be high. If you are interested in uh, specialized fields like big data and machine learning in the cloud, then consider looking for GCP. AWS was the first uh, to market with cloud computing, which is why you will see more AWS jobs than GCP. However, you must remember that we are not going to end with data engineering. So Google created TensorFlow, an open source machine learning framework to build next generation machine learning models. They also have TPUs, which they lease to you to specifically run machine learning workloads on the infrastructures, which has been tuned for this type of data processing. There are also other services which really provide more value to you when you perform a role of a data scientist, such as uh, easy to use services, which are managed services and require minimal effort to run your workload. Uh, think of um, uh, Dataflow. Think Apache Beam and Dataproc, think Hadoop clusters. In terms of demands in the job market, AWS and Azure have upper hand, but high demand isn't always a good thing. If a particular skill is in high demand, the odds or competition will also be high. Because GCP was launched in 2011, it has relatively less job posting, which means fewer people compete for a job position. Now, I don't mean to burst your bubble, but companies won't hire you out of desperation. They will still need the required competency to perform the job. So if you have the time and resources to learn the necessary skills in GCP, then you would have an easier path when looking for a job. Regardless of the cloud platform that you choose, you should understand the core concepts of the cloud since the fundamentals and the principle behind it are not different between the cloud providers. Your time and effort will not be wasted whichever you choose to learn as you could still apply your skills and knowledge when switching to a different cloud service provider. Looking at a bigger picture, remember that these are just tools to solve the problems. There is not a one size fits all solution to a problem. Based upon your long-term goal, you have to make decisions on it. So in the current era, when everyone is shifting to the cloud and when we want to set ourselves apart from the peers in the unique way, definitely we can say that the GCP is worth it. Having my long-term goal in mind, I decided to go for GCP. If you are also interested for the same, let's get started. 
The main focus of this series will be on performing the data engineering activities with Google Cloud Platform. So Google Cloud Platform, which is offered by Google, is a suite of cloud computing services that runs on same infrastructure that Google uses internally for its end user products, such as uh, uh, Google Search, Gmail, Google Drive, and YouTube. So Google has provided a good training platform to make their services available for everyone. Just log into cloud.google.com slash training. You will be able to find a lot of material and the different learning paths. If you want to understand about the different certifications, click on the certification link over here. And uh, here you can find the different uh, certifications and appropriate, which are appropriate for different roles. For example, cloud digital engineer, cloud engineer, architect, database engineer, developer and data engineer, etc. So here we'll be focusing on the data engineer role. So, um, so you have various information about uh, the exams and other things. So just click on start preparing and you'll be able to find various information about the data engineering learning path. So the different big data and machine learning fundamental tools which are required and how do you perform data engineering on Google Cloud and various other things as well. Try to explore the different uh, programs and identify the topic of your interest. So we will be looking at the data engineering learning path in the upcoming videos. So my videos will be based upon um, these topics and I'll try to explain the things as simple as possible. So looking forward for interacting with you and learning together. Let's stay connected. Thanks for watching this video. Bye bye.